Hey friends, welcome to the YouTube channel All About Electronics. So in this question, we have been given this diode circuit, and here we have been given that the diode in the given circuit is the ideal diode. So here, this input voltage V1 is applied to the given circuit, and as you can see, this input voltage can be given as 10 times sine 100 pi t. So here, we have been asked to find during the one period of the input signal. For a what duration this diode remains in the forward bias condition. So let us find that. So here the given diode is the ideal diode. And we know that for the ideal diode, when the voltage at the anode is greater than the voltage at the cathode, then the diode remains in the forward bias condition. So here if you see, then the voltage at the cathode of the diode is equal to minus 5 volt, right? That means here. When the voltage at the anode is more than the minus 5 volt at that time, this diode will remain in the on condition. Or in other words, we can say that when the input voltage V in is more than minus 5 volt at that time, this diode will remain in the forward bias condition. So here if you see, then the input signal is the sinusoidal signal. And this input signal V in T can be given as 10 times sin of 100 pi t. So if we compare it with the A sin omega t, then we can say that over here, the amplitude of the signal is equal to 10 volt, while the omega is equal to 100 pi. And we can say that this omega is equal to 100 pi. Or we can say that the frequency of the oscillation is equal to 50 hertz. So here, since the amplitude of the signal is equal to 10 volt, so here the positive and the negative peak will be equal to plus minus 10 volt. And here, whenever the input signal goes below the minus 5 volt, that means during this duration, the diode will go in the off condition. And apart from that, for the rest of the time, the diode will remain in the forward bias condition. So here, what we will do? First of all, we will find the time during which this diode remains in the off condition. And as you can see over here, that time is between these two points. So let's say the one point is equal to T1 while the another point is equal to T2. So here, what we will do? First of all, we will find the time duration for which this diode remains in the off condition. That is T2 minus T1. And once we get that, then it is easy to find the time duration for which the diode remains in the forward bias condition. So we know that at these two points, the amplitude of the signal is equal to minus 5 volt. So we can say that at time t is equal to t1, this amplitude of the v1 of t is equal to minus 5 volt. And that is equal to 10 times sine of 100 times pi t1. Or from this we can say that the sine of this 100 times pi t1 is equal to minus 1 by 2. So let's say this angle is equal to alpha or to be precise let's say that is equal to alpha 1. That means here this alpha 1 is equal to sin inverse of minus 1 by 2. So if you know then for the sine wave when the angle is equal to pi by 6 at that time its amplitude will be equal to 1 by 2 and similarly when the angle is equal to pi minus pi by 6 or that is equal to phi pi by 6 at that time also the amplitude will be equal to 1 by 2 and likewise when the angle is equal to pi plus pi by 6 that is this point at that time the amplitude will be equal to minus 1 by 2 so we can say that if we see the angle at time t1 then that will be equal to pi plus pi by 6 or that is equal to 7 pi by 6 and once again it will become minus 1 by 2 when the angle is equal to 2 pi minus pi by 6 that is equal to 11 times pi by 6 that means for the time t2 if we see the angle for the alpha 2 then that will be equal to 11 pi by 6 and the alpha 1 will be equal to 7 pi by 6 so this alpha 1 is equal to 100 times pi t1 or from this we can say that 
this t1 is equal to this 7 divided by 600 so that is equal to 11.66 millisecond and similarly if we see the alpha 2 then that is equal to 11 pi by 6 and that is equal to 100 times pi t2 so let us compare this angle with the 100 pi t2 so from this we can say that this t2 is equal to this 11 divided by 600 and that is equal to 18.33 millisecond so in this way we got the time t1 and t2 so here this delta t that is t2 minus t1 will be equal to 18.33 millisecond minus 11.66 millisecond and that will be equal to 6.67 millisecond that means this duration is equal to 6.67 millisecond that means during this time the diode will remain in the off condition and for the rest of the time the diode will remain in the forward bias condition so here we know that the delta t is equal to 6.67 millisecond and here this time period t is equal to 1 divided by f that is equal to 1 divided by 50 hertz and that is equal to 20 millisecond so we can say that the on duration of this diode is equal to t minus delta t that is equal to 20 millisecond minus 6.67 millisecond and that is roughly equal to 13.33 millisecond that means during the one period of the input signal for this duration the diode remains in the forward bias condition so from this we can say that for the given question the answer is equal to 13.33 millisecond